Now, I can now pass along to you, at least according to a report, who the Giants gave up in this blockbuster to bring <laughs> in A.J. Pollock and Mark Mathias, who apparently was uh, on the Seattle Mariners AAA team plane that landed in Houston, found out he was traded, and then disappeared away from baggage claim. Uh, but I know, uh, again, at least according to a report, who the Giants have given up. Are you ready for it? I'm ready. Here it is. Let me first tell you that you're listening to 95.7 oh, The Game, KGMZ FM it. and HD one San Francisco, always live on Twitch, YouTube, and the free Odyssey app. The Giants have sent to the Seattle Mariners a PTBNL. P Who are you? T B T N B. L. N. L. I know who that is. You do? Patimble. <laughs> Mike Patimble. They have sent Mike Patimble. Yeah, he was through. good year in San Jose. I uh, <laughs> got him an OPS at about 814 this year, Mark. P T B N L in baseball language stands for player to be named later. That's a big swap. Yeah. Faron got a couple players for free. <laughs> Basically. Uh, and, and take a guy that and, we don't want to pay anymore. And maybe there's a reason why. And take a minor leaguer who has now wandered away from baggage claim, <laughs> according to sources. <laughs> maybe he was abducted. There's a guy for the Tacoma Rainiers just wandering through the Houston airport, which is, by the way, not a place where you want to wander around aimlessly anymore. You can get arrested for that kind of crap at an airport. So be careful, Mark. Because you got yourself a ticket to Sacramento. Mark Mathias, please pick up the white courtesy phone you've been traded. Mark <laughs> Mathias. Uh, <laughs> pick up the phone and it's Farhan snickering. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just pulled off my 87th deal with the Mariners in the <laughs> last 100 days. It's great. I just acquired you, but don't come here because <laughs> you're going to be in the minors. I haven't decided where to send you yet. <laughs> what do you think? Triple A or double A? Where can you catch a flight right now? <laughs> And which which airports? Yeah, because Houston has two. Uh, I don't know. They got Hobby and they got the Bush. I don't know. I don't know, but your your Farhan disturbs me. It's just the chuckle. <laughs> you sound like a cartoon villain. You sound like a cartoon Snidely villain. Whiplash. Yeah. Hey, Mark, it's Farhan. <laughs> I just acquired you. Like it's not a Batman. I own you now. It's not a Batman <laughs> villain. Those are like way. No. Those no, are way. No. Those are too high. High end. Yeah. It's like uh. Yeah. It's like a Nick at Night cartoon villain. Yeah. Just small, bespeckled, yeah. but just enough evil. Just a just a touch of evil. You know. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, Make out Hill ninety five on YouTube says uh, Beavis and Butthead is what you uh, sound like. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> totally. <laughs> <laughs> a little Roger Klotz from Doug action. Yeah. All right. Well, there's a little we bit of that. a little bit of Doug early I can hear on. that. Teach me how to watch the Doug. Uh, anyway, A.J. Pollock, Mark Mathias for T P T B N L, And uh, I would say our reaction to this trade deadline is also T-B-N-L, to be named later. Sure. Um, I'm not going to freak out until we get to uh, 3 o'clock tomorrow. But uh, John Heyman says... Verlander, or as he called him, Erod, Eduardo Rodriguez. Yeah, Giants got a good shot at one of those, and I, I, I think I think I would like that. Susan that would be Slusser good. has now reported yeah. on the destination. It's a destination sensation for Matthias. He's been optioned to Sacramento. Okay, so I have to check their schedule, but uh, Matthias will not be flying here to the Bay Area. <sighs> He's off to Sacramento. We have an update on who the Giants have sent to the Mariners. We, we've named the player? No. It's a PTBNL or... Cash. Cash. The okay. Giants also got cash considerations Con back in the deal. Considerations, well. right. So They're in other words, it. right, we're going to send you some money. There's a consideration. And we might send it back to you. <laughs> Sluss also reporting Sluss. Uh, Brebbia you. goes to the 60-day IL. Yaz is on the 10-day, and Diaz is on the roster. Isan Diaz is, is He's back. back. Yes. Oh, good. Yes. And I'm glad you asked Tristan Beck that because it is a constant, like, up and down and a shuffling of, of the bottom of the roster because <laughs> that's what he does. But uh, Isan Diaz is back. <laughs> that's right. 
I didn't even know he was gone. We swapped <laughs> Yaz for D Yaz. Right. And uh, onward we go. Here come the D backs. And we'll see if AJ Pollock is he st- so is he still on the IL for, for another day or two? Is that is that right? Because I know he, nine days ago he went on the 10 day IL. So Pollock's not going to be uh, activated right away. Is that right? Not sure. I'll look it up. It could have been retroactive when they put him on. So okay. he might already have been taken off. But okay. we'll check it out. Knowing the Giants, he's batting 39. <laughs> Well, and also knowing well, the Giants... Get SFO at about six. Yeah. Make sure there's no traffic because you're batting third. Well, and, you know, Farhan will make a corresponding move tomorrow or three more moves today because it's what he does. He loves making moves. Yep. Yep. All right. So Matthias to AAA, Pollock, Cash, PTBNL. The Giants have sent out nothing and received in return potentially not much more. <laughs> And uh, A.J. Pollock is eligible to come off the I.L. tomorrow. Tomorrow, when he will be batting third. Assuming he's not traded before then. Because Are the Giants facing a lefty tomorrow? Because this sounds like a deal they made just to like get him in the lineup tomorrow. Just tomorrow. Yeah, I'd have to check the, uh, the probables, but this is just such a, such a classic Farhan move. And imagine if you are that player to be named later. <laughs> so the Giants name the player... And then Seattle says, we'd rather have the cash. Yeah, we'd just, yeah. We'd, we'd just pay us back. Yeah. And, and Righty tonight for the Diamondbacks and Ryan Nelson. Righty tomorrow and Zach Gallon. Okay. okay. And what about after that? TBD, <laughs> then Brandon Smart Fott. Guy. Oh, TBD? Is he related to PTBNL? Mm, <laughs> no, I, no, I don't believe so. Okay. Uh, and I don't know how the TBD throws, whether it's righty or lefty. And uh, then it's Brendan Fought. And yeah, that's about that. Okay. Oh gosh! I Brandon just, are ready, by I way. just looking at the uh, the probables for the Giants' upcoming schedule. Did you know that next Wednesday, not this Wednesday, next Wednesday, August 9th, as it stands right now, scheduled to face Otani. Oh really? You gotta face him. That'd be fun. They won't get any hits off him. Well, not <laughs> not the way they've been swinging. They don't the get bat. any hits off regular pitchers. How many are they going to get off of Otani? That'd be fun though. Definitely. I've never seen, right? He's never faced the Giants as a pitcher, I don't think. Maybe I'm wrong on that. No, I don't I don't think you're wrong. I don't think I don't think he has. Yeah. yeah. Back-to-back nights they're supposed to face uh, Giolito who they just requ- acquired and then uh, Shohei Otani. So, that's coming. And that's part of the uh, the gauntlet you talked about the rest of the way. 56 games to go, four with Arizona. Yeah, you got a couple against the A's, and then you can bring home that Bay Bridge Trophy once and once and for all. Hopefully, and then it is a tough gauntlet of games all the way through the end of the year. At the Angels, this is starting next Monday. At the Angels, then home series, six games with Texas and Tampa Bay, uh, two teams who have been leading the American League most of the way. Then a roadie that goes to Atlanta and Philly. Boof. Then you come right back home for Atlanta and the Reds. Then you hit the road for San Diego and the Chicago Cubs. Like, every single team I just mentioned all have winning records. All in the playoff all hunt, of them. yeah. All of them. Not until they're home against the Rockies on September 8th and outside of the games against the A's this weekend. That's it in terms of facing teams with a losing record. Yeah, and that's two of baseball's worst. Woo. The A's bottom of the American League and the Rockies bottom of the National League. But you're going to have a lot of playoff type series that you're going to be involved in here between now and the beginning of September. All right. So we're all in agreement that in order to feel good about this at all, that, that didn't really, that's not enough. No, it counts as something. I know that we suppose, well, we were talking about messaging, right? Messaging your team. Hey, we went and got reinforcements I mean, A.J. Pollock is a very accomplished player in the majors, but he has not been good for a couple of years. He does hit lefties really well, and the Giants have struggled with that of late. I'm sure that the the clubhouse will go, okay, like, that's fine. Well, this from Susan Slusser. uh, She's reporting on Twitter. Alex Wood raves about Pollock, says he will fit right into the clubhouse. Great guy, according to Wood, and... Jock Peterson is also good friends with Pollock. Well, they're all ex-teammates. Right, but with, with so the, Pollock with the, comes in, yeah. and he immediately gets a thumbs up from two of the Giants who are here. And so something I asked Tristan Beck earlier, the Giants pitcher, when he joined us, about the, the clubhouse vibe. And he says it's a great clubhouse. It's a tight group. 
and AJ Pollock <laughs> apparently will fit right in. Okay, you know how every fan loves when a, a good guy comes. Yeah, well, you know, yeah, go ahead and strike it's not like out. They acquired Tommy Pham. That would be a little bit of a, of a boat rocker. That would be incredible. It would be. That would be incredible. I don't think I could be a Giants fan anymore. Is is Tommy Pham? Would that be worse to acquire than Chris Paul? I was thinking that same thing. <laughs> I actually think there would be more openness to Tommy Pham at first at first right. glance. Well, most people don't aren't that dialed in to remember that Tommy Pham slapped Jock Peterson on the warning track oh. over a, a fantasy football ruling gone wrong. I think a lot of people do know that story, yeah. actually. I think they know that story better than last night's score. At but, least Chris Paul's a good player. Well, there's that. Tommy Pham mm. is doing, he's hitting the ball well today, uh, right, this today? year. Yeah, today, you know, meaning. <laughs> Hasn't not gotten a hit. Well, you know what I mean. Like t- t- today, as in like currently, he's hitting True. the ball pretty well this year, isn't he? Mm. Mm. What's he doing? I'll get back to you. I, 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 <laughs> he's on the Mets, isn't he? he? Hasn't gotten any better of a person, I'll I, say that. He's got a positive war. Yeah. And he's 820 OPS. He's hitting 268 with 10 yeah. home runs. We got AJ year. Pollock now. Yeah, he's, and he's a Met, which means he might get traded. I've heard Fam. Fam's name has been out there. The Giants should get him. <laughs> Lucas is burying the lead. The reason he hates Tommy Pham has nothing to do with Jock Peterson. What is it, Lucas? Uh, I've told this story before. Are you ready for story time? I'm ready for story. Last year, I sat. It was like the best sat, the best seats I've ever had at any sporting event ever. I sat, you know, in those little um, seats right by the on deck circle, right in Oracle Park, right underneath where your head's like even with the dirt. Yeah, you can picture that. I was sitting there right near the visitors on deck circle. I was it was the first game Tommy Pham had played in this ballpark since the whole thing with Jock and I was messing with him. It was about this time of year, football season around the corner. It's like, "Hey, Christian McCaffrey number 1. What what are you what are you doing number 2? Let's hear some power rankings." I'm trying to have a nice back and forth. He looks over at me and without batting an eye, he just says, "Man, you are one ugly <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah. And uh, that was the end of that. Score that one for Tommy Pham. Yeah. I kept going out of the Dude, he though. just out there throwing bows with everybody. He slapped it Jock, was, I but thought he, it was he really took light. down Lucas, too. I thought it was lighthearted. Just trying to have some fun. He did not. He's trying to work on his craft. He's out there. He's a he's professional work athlete. On his craft. He's a jerk. He's a jerk. I defend him on both of these instances. I, I know you do. Slapping Jock and slapping down <laughs> Lucas. <laughs> I One more piece of news. Yes. Uh, Dr. Meister apparently has a new patient. Who's that? Anthony DiSclefani is seeking a second opinion on his flexor tendon from Dr. Meister. That according to Susan Slusser That's on the Twitter. Sa- the same guy who worked with Purdy. Correct. Same oh. doctor. Meister. Can we get him on? Meister's busy. No, he's not. He's a, I mean, <laughs> guy's always busy. I mean, he's a doctor. Just because Di Sclafani made an appointment with him, it was probably in September, the way that stuff works. <laughs> oh, geez, hey, we're, Flexor uh, tendon we're, strain. That's not good. God, we're, we're busy in the afternoons until October. How are you on October 11th, It's Anthony? like the dentist. No joke. It's crazy. 